City for those who don't know, yeah. My sister is inside of a fabric store, or she's like, she's going to a few fabric stores because we have a ball next weekend. It's our house ball, the House of Garcons' 15th anniversary house ball. So we will be in DC next weekend, and the girls are finalizing their looks. My look is already together, complete. My designer, like, it's literally finished. My designer was like, "I think you look amazing in this. Come try it on." So all I have to do is try it on say yes to the dress and i'm ready for the ball other than that um i'm just excited to get out of new york for the weekend because i feel like i need a break um some other shit that's going on with me right now is i am just like I'm not even gonna lie i really like this boy but we not like we not like that i just like him he like me too but not be mad and then I will be crying in a corner feeling all bad and being depressed and I just want to be treated like a princess but whatever 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 I'm also a little salty because last night everybody in the whole world went out because it was daylight safest time it was the last one ever and I didn't know so I slept through the whole night but you know we all have our bad bitch nights where we just need to get our beauty rest and Honestly, I'm trying to stop going out as much so that I can start to save more money. Um, even though I wouldn't, have, I don't spend money when I go out anyway, but I mean, I get into most places for free. I normally don't spend money on drinks, but for some reason, like, as a girl, once you go out and you look cute, you just be feeling like a boss and you find things to spend money on. So... I'm happy that I didn't go out, but I'm sad because I'm like, oh my God, I probably could have saw my little boo thing or whatever. But I just need to remember that bitch. I am the prize. I am the T. I am the girl. Like, I don't have to be accessible. You need to come to me. It's no shade. But I'm excited to be in DC, be around some new niggas or whatever. New York niggas get on my nerves. They just so out and about and everywhere and busy. And I like when niggas be busy. I like when boys be busy. I like when men are busy. But uh, don't be too busy for me. But either way, that's what I got to do today. I might go to the fitting today in Brooklyn if my sister feels like it. I never know if she's going to feel like making multiple stops. Um, so we'll see. We know that we're gonna drop off the hair, but my designer used to live a few blocks over from where we are right now. So the original plan was that I was gonna, she was gonna drop me off at the designer's house and then come get her fabric and stuff. But he let me know that he moved to Brooklyn. So even though I'm dropping my hair off in Brooklyn, I don't know how close those two live, my hair and my designer. I don't know how close they live. So I should probably, I'm probably gonna look and see how close they live now while she's inside the store. And cause she wants to go get some accessories for jewelry and stuff too, but I'm like, did she just leave me in a car? Because it was kind of hard to find parking. And I, my goal, I wanted to get out of the car. <laughs> so I could look at accessories and stuff too. And I feel like she just pulled over where she's not supposed to park and left me in the car. And I'm going to ask her when she get inside. Hopefully I remember to record it. I'm going to ask her when she get back inside the car. I'm like, did you already, did you already go to the accessories place? And if she say, yeah, I'm be like, girl, I wanted to come to the accessory place. <laughs> But we'll see. Um, I don't know. But either way, I will talk to you later. Hey, y'all. So we in the store. They got all of the things. I'm just looking around because... Like, this is cute. But the dress, it already has so many rhinestones in it. Yeah, the dress has so many rhinestones in it. I feel like I need something more like a, like a this type of moment, like to bring something into the look. Cause I'm not trying to be giving drag drags for, oh, the floor is shaking. 
but yeah, I feel like I need something. I'm probably gonna do like a lot of chrome and silver. That's probably gonna be my thing. Like, just something like fun and off and fashiony and funky, as my mom would say. Or it could even be something like this, like how it's like the black and the gold. But I don't think I wanna wear gold because the rhinestones on the dress are already silver. So it's given like a wet, very sexy. Like, I don't know. If you think about like apocalyptic fashion, but then you make it fashion, that's what it's given. But I'm gonna figure it out. Second stop done. So she got her fabric. You still want to talk about the other um, jewelry place? Yeah, that was one of those for like the grandma's bracelet. Got you. You already got the accessories. You about to look for the accessories for your ball look? Or you already got those? I'm probably just gonna see if they have them. I'm just need like long dangling. Like dangling earrings. earrings. Maybe they're not. They're in there. Or maybe they're the last customer. What's going on? Cause what time? Is it almost four? Yeah, it's nice. But what is the place that you usually go? That's normally the place that the one that we went to. That's the one that I normally go to. Oh. So I, um, I took pictures of the stuff that I was looking at, and then once I tried the dress on, and I know for sure, like where everything is and how much room I have. He is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna come on Thursday and get them. But I just wanted to make sure they had something. Cause I got one shot only. Cause we leave on Friday to go to DC and I'm getting my accessories on Thursday. So I need to make sure, I need to window shop now so I don't run around the city and have all the stores closing and I don't have shit. The city is so chill today. Super chill. Look at him, in love, under five foot seven. That's cute. All right, guys. Next stop, BK. Everyone, me, Cooper. <laughs> so I'm starting my vlog bag. I've been doing really good. I've been vlogging all day. Um, thank you for putting up on my last minute bullshit, but what is in this garment bag is sickening. It's sickening. It's we just tried it on. Um, we're talking about styling and just keying, catching up, and I'm gonna go run downstairs because my sister's literally parked in the middle of the street. But yeah, I'm like so excited. So I can't wait to send you all the content and stuff. So we <laughs> Good morning. I am on my way to work. I'm on the train. Normally I either take the train or I take an Uber, but Ubers be anywhere from like seventy to eighty dollars for me to get to work. So try to take the train so I'm not spending five to six hundred dollars just to get to work every week. It's Monday. Last night when we got home I literally just hurried up at eight and went to sleep because it was already like seven o'clock by the time I got home. I literally just called my mom until I fell asleep so that's why you guys didn't hear anything from me last night but yeah today is Monday and we got a busy week because I'm still going to be preparing for this weekend throughout the week. I did the individual lashes yesterday but they don't even last today. So the kiss lashes, it's a no. The kiss lashes, it's a no no. It's the second time that I've tried them, the second time that they barely lasted 24 hours. My strip lashes last longer. So kiss, reformulate. It was $30 for no reason. But yeah, today I'm just going to work, coming home, and I need to edit my videos and get them up on YouTube. So my channel update will be up by the time you guys see this. So if you did not see my channel update, go back and watch that so you can understand what is going on, what is the new purpose of the channel, and all of that. And yeah, the things that we'll be talking about. So yeah, everybody get on board. Put your seatbelts on. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. A little smooth ride, but jolty, you know. It'll be some turbulence. Hey y'all, so I am at work. I am just putting on some mascara. I'm gonna put on some lip gloss and go sit at my desk and do my JLB. I'm gonna probably get some tea too, because I need some tea. Yeah, here's what I do. 
But all the other songs before I leave the house. And it still grew on my laughter from the individuals. So they all come together. But it's whatever. Um, yeah, I already, already got perfume on. I'm wearing black and tie. I'm not really in here. Oh, so annoyed, so annoyed. Hey, Josh, I finally got myself together, but this is what I look like. I guess I look pretty much okay. Chanel Mademoiselle. My favorite scent. Messy ass purse. And let's go. Hello, what's going on? I'm home from work. Um, <laughs> I have all of this energy because I drank a chestnut praline from Starbucks today. It was fab. It was my first holiday drink from them. So that was great. I drank it on the train home. Anytime I know for a fact that I need to like record a video, edit a video, stay up, do laundry, anything that requires me to stay up when I get home from work. I have to get a coffee when I leave work. And it's funny to say that because for like the regular person that has a regular schedule, no matter what your job is, normally people don't start their work day at 3 a.m. no matter what they do, um, except for those of us that do. The, the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. But watch well, say the people that get it, get it. And the people that don't, don't. But either way, that's neither here nor there. I'm one of the super early morning people. Y'all already know I work on a morning show. If you don't know what's going on in my life right now, make sure you go watch my channel update. But I am starting a weekly vlog back up. I'm literally going back to what I started doing because I got so far away from it when I graduated college. Again, go watch the channel update. It's, it's uh, That's literally what I'm editing right now. So when you watch this vlog, like, bitch, I'm being productive. Like, subscribe. But... All in all, that's what I do when I know that I need to get stuff done after work, which is pretty much every day. So it's probably going to be like an everyday thing. Like I don't really get coffee when I'm at work anymore. I'll drink tea when I'm at work because I actually take my ass to bed at night. So I'm like sleep by like seven, eight o'clock most nights. That's really why I didn't record anything when I got home yesterday from us running errands. Because as soon as I got home, like I said, I literally stuffed my face and went to sleep. My sister will tell you. So, um... Yeah, I'm learning that the only way that I can really stay up after work, I got to have some caffeine in my system or something to keep me up. Or I cannot come home. Because as soon as I sit on this bed, this comfortable ass, big ass bed right here, I'm out for the count. But, um, yeah, guys, today. Oh, I got McDonald's for breakfast if anybody wanted to know. I just got a um, sausage McCheese. Um, sausage McCheese. A sausage McMuffin with cheese, no egg, and a hash brown. It's a $3 bundle. I don't know if they have that everywhere, but I know all the McDonald's in the city have it. So it's like a cute $3 breakfast. It keeps my breakfast out of my pocket because breakfast isn't even... I mean, I guess I could eat breakfast for, like cheaper if I if I went to the if I went to the grocery store and like prepped my breakfast like the night before or like the, the the weekend like the Sunday before let me see three dollars times five is what 15 bucks a week on breakfast that I'm currently well no I, I get a lot let me stop lying I, I should be meal prepping but either way that's what I ate this morning um after work I just came home not that big of a deal I just got on the train it's not that deep it's moan shot Monday so it's time for me to take my hormone shot but not only that was loud not only am I gonna take my hormone shot I'm gonna show you guys the full cocktail to make the girls want okay so my hands are washed um but i'm really iffy and i'm like really weird so you do not have to do this but <laughs> i always still like this is like um alcohol it is i get it off amazon It is 91 percent um alcohol it's a spray bottle so it was really easy my fem queen cocktail and for those that don't don't know what a fem queen is is what we call our trans women in ballroom um all fem queens are trans women, but not all trans women are fem queens. It's not a read. It's no shade, but that's just it's what we call trans women in ballroom. Fem queens. And not all of them even be fem queening. My fem queen cocktail is estrogen oil. I'm trying to cover up my name. It's estrogen oil, and it comes in a box like this. I get all of my hormones delivered to my house. They get delivered right to my front door. Okay, so this is the estrogen. It's called estrogen oil. 
I know everybody's gonna say, get on Delestrogen, get on Delestrogen. Honey, they don't prescribe Delestrogen like that in America anymore. And if you know a doctor that do, hook me up. So right now, my hands are clean. So I'm gonna take this. I like to throw all my stuff away after. And I'm gonna take the larger needle, which is the 18 gauge by, well, 18G, I imagine this gauge, but 18G by one and a half CW. So y'all can see that. So that's the first set. So I get that set up, I don't take the cap off. I have these alcohol pads. Again, my pharmacy, Alto Pharmacy, they give me these. So that's amazing. I preliminarily clean off this whole part of my thigh. But again, y'all, that's used already. I'm weird about it. So I still always go in with a paper towel and just like carry on. What is that? Oh, that's my comb. Do not let me forget to grab that. Now I am going to take the cap off. I know this little thing is it, it's weird. Don't let this gag you. Just pull the shit off. First step, you do what I did. Boom. Screw it on. Keep the cap on until you're ready. Now what you want to do is you want to take, you want to take, so I'm, so I'm taking 0.5. That's my prescription. I will put it at like 0.4, right? And then what you want to do is you want to pop that in the top. And then you want to push the air out. You want to push the air out. And then there's like a little window, if you can kind of see. Yeah, like you can kind of see that way you make sure the needle is below the, the moans because you don't want to be sucking up no air in that tube, girl. That's not the point of this. So now I'm going to carefully, let me see if I can do it closely. Oh, yeah. I'm going to carefully bring this down. And there's still going to be a little bit of like, it's going to be some some air in between. So I do mine really crazy. And I'm sure people be like, oh, it's an easier way you could do it. But okay, so I pull a bunch in. And I might not be the only person that does this. I tap, 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 tap. I don't see any bubbles. Right? Right, right, right. And then what I'm gonna do to get rid of this air pocket at the top, I'm going to just simply push. Let me make sure this is still above the, I mean, below the thing. I'm going to push all of that air into I'm gonna push it into the syringe until I don't see any more air bubbles. And then I know we're good to go. So then I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put this cat back on. Okay. Anytime you're not inserting a needle, put the cat back on it. So before I even unscrew that, because this is when I be getting scared. They're like, oh, cross contamination and all of that. This is a smaller needle. This is, I think, a 20, yeah, 25 by one. Very small needle. So this, the cap is still on this one. I can unscrew this. I'm just going to set this down on my clean surface. Screw this one in. My leg is clean. I like to, some people don't, but I like to put this back in here. And then you just wanna push out just a little bit more until you see the, the moles. Cause it's air in the needle, right? Until you push the hormones to the tip of the needle. So I almost forgot only cause I was talking. I don't do that shit often, but I'll be doing my shots more often. And then you just wanna insert, so boom. Mm-hmm. So she's going in, going through that second layer. And we're, so we're in the muscle. And now we're going to push them all out. This is the hard part because you got to like push, concentrate, hold, look. Push, concentrate, hold, and look. Make sure that you're not pulling the needle out as you push the moans in. And just... You get the hang of it after a while, but I try not to go too crazy. Oh, see, I'm pulling the needle out too early, but it's fine. It was still deep enough. I normally don't have any bleeding when I get done. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put this cat back on because these needles and stuff will roll around on you. Yeah, no, I didn't have no moans left. I'd be ready to cry when I feel like I had moans left in there. And as you guys can see, you I, I can't even see where I did my shot. Ain't nothing coming out. 
great sign. Oh, I can see a little bit, just like where the oil of the estradol from the needle is right there. But um, I clean it off again. The alcohol pad. I normally hold it a little bit. Some doctors say massage. Some say don't massage. I say do what feels comfortable. Although I will say when, when they say don't massage, it is because it is supposed to not just sit there, but basically sit there and self-distribute over time. When you massage it, you kind of break down the estrogen faster than what it's supposed to. That's neither here nor there. Your doctor may say something that my doctor will not say. I don't know. It's nice to have a Band-Aid on, on site. This is like a little, a little patchy Band-Aid. So it's like literally just like a, I'll show you. It's like a little baby circle perfect for I'm sure people probably use them for all type of things like pimples and minor like paper cuts and whatnot literally just a little circle little dot and you can use that to stop any bleeding I've heard horror stories of hormones coming back out I don't I don't understand how how your moles can come back out of your body unless you stuck the needle in this far like no bitch this whole front part of this needle that whole front part needs to be in your leg you do not. You don't gotta stab yourself, and, but that whole front part should be in your leg. Okay, this is one of my favorite things about my pharmacy too. They give me a sharps container, so I literally can just drop that in there. Take that other needle that we put the cap on already. Drop that in there. To seal it, you you close it a different way, but you can't reopen it once you do that. But it does close like this, and this is how I keep it stored. Boom! I just keep that in my closet. Yada, yada, yada. I personally, some people can take their hormone shot and go places. I be needing to be in the house because about four or five hours after my hormone shot, if not sooner, I am going to pass out. I'm going to go to sleep. And Tuesdays are normally like, not sleepy days for me, but every once in a while, my hormone shots will catch up with me. And baby, the day after I do a hormone shot, I will be out for the count. Um, but I have so much caffeine in my system today that I'm probably not going to feel those effects. So we get to continue. Why would I use 50 alcohol pads? I play around. Yeah, y'all. We're about to fix us some ghetto ramen. Um, it's some shrimp. It's like some shrimp and rice situation cooked in the refrigerator. So I actually made two things of shrimp. Well, one shrimp ramen and one chicken ramen. And then boil three eggs. And we're going to do some ghetto shit because I'm hungry. And I don't feel like ordering no food because there's food in the house. Shot is done. Made the food, and then I have my laptop right here. I like to edit in the front room with all of the light. Again, I already told y'all I can't do anything in my bed. Once I go in my bed, I'm going to sleep. I'm gonna start with just the noodles. Hands down, amazing. Mmm. Baby, that little bit of spice just kicked in. <clears throat> She was cute. A little rice with her. Yeah. Yeah, mama. Mm-hmm. A little baby fucking shrimp. Yeah. We're winning. God. Okay. I had to put some more sauce up on this egg. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm this shit go crazy. The ghetto meals be the best. Mm. Especially when you just throw shit in there. I really have to take myself step by step and talking out loud helps me so much. It helps me stay focused. Also, I put all of my devices on do not disturb. I used to not like doing that because like my, the ADHD will fight you if it knows that you're trying to like, to, like combat it. So I always would like make up excuses as to why I couldn't put my phone on do not disturb or to find out that, you know, that's just your mind trying to make sure that we have distractions because that is what my mind enjoys. It likes to jump from one thing to the next before I'm done doing the one thing. Mm -hmm. The titties out, let them out, let them girls out. All right, 
So I'm editing. I'm gonna get on TikTok Live while I edit and eat and do everything because they kind of get me going too. And it keeps me out of my phone because I'm live. So like, even if my phone rings, somebody tries to call me, I'm dead in it because my TikTok Live be jumping. So make sure you follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, follow me on all of that shit. I do be going live. I always post every day. So yeah, follow me on those things. And if I don't talk to y'all when I get done with this, which I probably will because I'm still going to be up for a little bit. Um, I will see y'all tomorrow and I'm going to go to work like I always do. So I'll probably say something brief in the morning. Maybe tomorrow I'll show y'all what I get for breakfast. Maybe we'll do that. We'll do a breakfast thing. Um, Yeah, but I got to stay in it. I got to stay in it. I'm starting to zone out. I got to stay in it. So I'll talk to y'all later. All right, y'all, my Uber is outside already. Oh, my hair is actually still good. Oh, because I didn't sleep in my unit. So today is Tuesday. I just reinstalled my unit. I don't have to press it out. Thank God. My Uber is outside. Took this up to 450. My sister Julie told me to stop um, touching my hair up on 450. But baby, I be needing to move fast. Yeah, this really didn't need that much touch up because I forgot that. Is I know that ain't my Uber um hunker and nobody's two in the motherfucking morning. I already wrote I'm on my way outside the door. That's all I needed to do. Like you can calm the fuck down. Oh, I need to take my fiber pills and my T blockers and my multivitamin. And this is why people be looking at y'all like y'all crazy when y'all be talking about people transitioning. Like who would wish this on people all the time? You always take a medicine. It's for a lifetime. Okay, I look cute. Y'all like my outfit. <clears throat> Alright, got my breakfast. Coffee, cool. Hot chocolate and espresso. From my cafeteria. My easy day food. Nobody asked for strawberry jelly. Nobody asked for strawberry jelly. He's a star. <laughs> Look who came to give me from work. Y'all bought the music so you can vlog. Yeah, I did. I wanted to. I wanted to get us on the vlog. No, no, no. Then I'm gonna be make money off this video. I don't give a. F yes, you do. You care. But yeah, my sister came and got me from work today. Hey, y'all. What's going on? So I didn't talk to y'all for two days because Wednesday I went to sleep. I didn't do anything. I went to work. I went to sleep. Thursday I was running around, which was yesterday. I was running around. I had to go shopping really quick for a pair of boots. I had to pack my bag. I had to get a lot of stuff done. There's no respect. There's no respect. go to sleep because so I have to go to work in the morning. I slept pretty much the whole way on the bus, so that was nice. We got back to New York at like 9.20 and then we got, we just got home. 
It's probably like 10.30, so I'm gonna try to get me at least like two and a half-ish hours of a nap and sleep and get up and go to work and come home and pass out. But first, because it's Monday, I have to take my hormone shot before I go to bed because I don't want to be so tired that I forget tomorrow. Plus, I like to make sure I'm consistent. So I'm going to do that. I'm about to put this bonnet on. I need to drink as much of this water as I can and then go to sleep. But I will be, you know, vlogging tomorrow and from here on out. So thank you all for watching this clip. I will try to do better as I travel to make sure that I record. I've never been good at like travel vlogs because I like to just zone out when I'm out of town. But I really, really, really want to give y'all all I got. So um, I'm sure I will be traveling soon. Probably not anymore for the rest of the year. I'm not going home for Thanksgiving. For those that don't know, home is Cleveland, Ohio. I'm not going home for Thanksgiving. And then I'm also not... Um, probably not gonna go home for Christmas or anywhere for New Year's because I really like this was like my last big weekend to spend money on things that are not investments like for the year like this has been a very a very um what's the proper word this has been a very money spending year and I don't feel like I've retained enough of the money that I've made. I've made a lot of money this year. I don't think I've retained enough. But um, I'm about to do this hormone shot and I'm about to lay down and then get up. So, I love you all. It's been real, it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. You have to catch me in my next one.